I wanted to spend a few minutes and go over the functionality in GoodNotes 5 for um, our customers who have bought our planner um, or for other users who are using GoodNotes 5 and would like to get a bit more information. So with the GoodNotes 5 update that's come out a couple of months ago now, um, we have some different functionality compared to GoodNotes 4. When you first open GoodNotes 5, you'll see this documents page, um, which is a different format and layout to GoodNotes 4. You are able now in GoodNotes uh, 5, to, if you hit the plus button, you're able to create folders. So we just click the folder section and let's call this personal. We're able to create a, fo create a folder and within this you could create subfolders. And then you are able to um, more easily categorize your planners. There is an, also a function which has, for example, quick note at the bottom of this menu. Double tap the uh, plus icon. It automatically comes up. You can change the format by hitting the, uh, on the top right, the three dots and do change template. So you can select what type of uh, format you would like to apply. I'll just keep it at worldwide. And you can just say on here, let's just select that need. Drinks. And if we come out and go back to the uh, save that, you can change the title. If you just top the, the, the where it says untitled draft, just select that, go into here, and you can just put note and come out of that and go back to the main menu. And you would have that there automatically. And if you wanted to either copy or move one of these documents, you can hit the uh, tick with the dotted circle around it in the top right of the screen, select the note, do select move, and then select personal and move. And you can now see if you hit done, if you click personal, you'll see it's now moved into here. Good notes for had categories, so you could do a similar type of um, allocation to this, but the folders just make it a little bit neater. You also have on the top right of the screen a a list icon, like bullet points. If you click that, it will just list all of your items as, as a list rather than as, as separate icons. In the bottom of the screen, um, you can see documents, um, you, which is this one. You can see search. So if you click this, what this does is one of the functionalities that is improved in GoodNotes 5 is that they're able to search through multiple files for keywords and they will index this in the background. So if I just type in drinks, you can see it's picked that up and if I click it, it will go to the relevant page with that word on to find it. So if I go back and just pick a slightly wider, more commonly used word and I just say two, you can see it's picked up both in this note, but also in various parts of, um, in, in across the uh, page planner. If we now go to favorites, um, we'll come back to this in more detail, but what, one of the functionalities now in, in, in GoodNotes 5 is that if you go to documents and say we favorite this planner, you go to favorites, it will show up here, but also you can, you can bookmark particular pages in the planner and it will show you them here so you're able to, to just focus on the key pages. One other part of this documents page is in the top right, you will see a cog icon. If you click this, um, and I'll go over some of the key items in here, in the trash bin, um, you'll be able to recover either a planner or a page of a planner that, that you've deleted. And when you recover the, the planner page, the functionality will still remain the same. So the hyperlinks should still be there and working correctly. If we click on settings, you can see there's uh, hand, uh, handwriting recognition. Just make sure you've got the right language in there. Um, you've got iCloud settings. Make sure that's synced so that if you have multiple devices, they're, sh they're, they're showing correctly on here. And also you've got search indexing. Just make sure that's enabled so then your search functionality should work. Now, if we now go into one of the documents and see some more of the actual uh, document uses. Let me just clear that. Let's go to this page, for example. So 
I'll just go over each of the uh, relevant icons um, on this page. On the top left, the first um, arrow icon is just take would take you back to this documents page. The four square icon would, if you click this, it shows you the layout of the whole planner and all the relevant pages that you may want to, to look at um, and to jump to. Um, you also have favourites and outlines, which I'll come back to favourites in a bit. So I'll close that. You can see there's a magnifying glass in the top left. So this allows you to do a search just on this planner. And this bookmark basically shows whether or not we, we put this as a favourite. And so when you favourite a page, let's just favourite, say, this one. If we then go back to either the uh, four squares and then click favourites, you can see this has come up here. But also if you go hit the back arrow to come back to documents and then you can select the favourites in the bottom right, you can see it's now showing up in here as that page. So you can you can quickly go back to where you've where you left off. The button next to the bookmark is the share icon, the rectangle with the arrow pointing upwards. This lets you export or to print. You can select, as I showed before, the title, um, the middle top of the title to be able to rename this or to move it to a different folder. You have the plus button on the top right. This lets you add a page or image or import a PDF document within this planner and you can specify before or after. Then you've got the pen tool, which we'll talk about in a minute, and then the three dots. So if you select the three dots, you'll see that you can like rotate the page, copy the page, or change the template if you're using a particular template. So if we now select the pen tool, you'll see a new toolbar has just come up. Um, so firstly, you can flick through the different planners that you have open. If you want to close one, just hit the X and it closes it. So then you've just got the one planner open. And then I'll go through some of these different icons. So the first one being this um, zoom in tool. So what you can do is you can say, focus in a particular area, select, make, the, make sure the pen is selected and you can just very neatly draw around a particular part of it in, in more zoomed in detail. With the pen tool, you can select this and you have fountain ball or brush pen. Um, you can see the different functions like fun uh, fountain has a bit more ability to be able to change how much of the brush you have depending on the angle of the pen. Ball pen will remain pretty much constant throughout. And the brush pen will, the thickness will depend on how much you push it. So if you press hard, it will have a lot. And if you don't press as much, you'll have a thin stroke. Um, so you just experiment with that and see which one you like and which ones you want to use. You can then, for example, change to say blue and you can change the thickness over here to say I want super thick or thin. And the good bit with these ones is they're not set. You can just tap it and then select how, you know, the thickness that you would like to have of it. And if you have the brush pen, it's, you know, the more thick it will be. So I do suggest trying them out and, and having a play. Um, you then have eraser. So the good one, the good functionality of good notes is that you can just erase the exact bit that you would just want to erase and nothing more. Um, some other apps don't do this. Some other apps you can only erase, for example, the entire stroke. So you want to do that and it all gone away. So maybe you do want it, maybe you don't, um, but it's it has a nice functionality to be able to just edit the bits that you want to or the bits that you don't. You can also just, just highlight in certain areas. Suppose we just wanted to highlight this. Um, you just select the highlighter tool and, and go for it. And you can see that it does get thicker um, as you highlight an area slightly more. However, you don't cover the text that like you'll always be able to see through it. Um, and you can change the eraser to just erase highlighted areas. So we might not want the, um, the area around January to go, but we want the uh, highlighting section to, and you can see that's gone. So it's quite a good eraser tool. You can also clear the whole page if you want to restart again, which it does look a little messy. So let's just do that. Let's say clear page. The highlighting tool, you can change the colors. 
just tap this and you can pick different colors or custom colors and you can pick different whips shapes um you can just draw a section and it will snap into place again you can change the um, pen that you use so you can just do a ball pen if you just want to set whip it's quite a nice square and um, you've got the lasso icon so you can just go through the area that selects with the bits that you want to long press and then you can um, resize and what you can then do is just either spin around resize it and change as you would like and then drag it and drop so then you've got also the image tool so if you select the image tool you'll notice that straight away all these uh, your camera roll will show up here so you can just immediately select the photo the item that you want in this case this uh, this picture um, and then you can resize as you would like or make it bigger or smaller as you'd want you can also obviously select the camera and take a picture um, and also you have the text box and with the text box you if you hit the uh, brush on the far right you can see the styling brush you can see you can change the level of the font the alignment the actual font being used um, basically you can change to, to whatever you would like and then just select that and then type it in you can see it's there one one functionality of good notes i like is if you're in the middle of writing um, point in here and you don't want to have to click the no pen button and come back you can just long press on one of the hyperlinks and then hit open link and it will take you there in previous good notes for if you tried to tap it all you would ever get is like dots on there so all you have to do is said is just long press it with your finger and go through it to open the link and it will take you there hopefully that gives you some information on the functionality in good notes 5 please leave comments below and let us know your thoughts and let us know how you find good notes 5 and uh, we'd be interested to hear happy planning and speak to you soon